So I will discuss about biomedical application of thick film technology. Next slide, please. Um, I will uh, say a few words about nanomems. I will uh, present an introduction of thick film technology, and I will uh, present a few application of devices manufactured with uh, this technology, and I will finish with two conclusions. Next slide, please. So, uh, NanoMEMS is located in the center of Romania, near Brasov. It's uh, old and uh, nice area. Next slide, please. NanoMEMS is involved in uh, technologies, materials, and devices. Uh, many type of technologies, thick and thin film, electrochemical uh, techniques, uh, techniques specific to uh, microelectronic industry, micro DNA microarray, micro and nanofluidics, digital microfluidics, micro and nanosystems, uh, processing with supercritical fluids, laser processing and hybrid integration, and uh, a vast class of materials, especially inks deposited by screen printing, ceramic components, metallic powders, um, component based on carbon, based on conducting polymers, wires, and uh, different uh, organic and inorganic compounds. As devices, especially disensitized solar cells, screen printed electrodes, sensors and biosensors, and uh, MEMS and BioMEMS type devices. Next slide, please. Uh, as I mentioned, we producing inks for screen printing, uh, and uh, we are contributing to developing new technologies, materials, and devices. Next slide, please. Thick film technology is used in microelectronic industries starting with the 1950 years, with the year 1950, and uh, was at used at the beginning, especially for uh, passive components like resistors, capacitors, inductors, different type of sensors, hybrid integrated circuits, and so on. And after that, started to be involved more and more in uh, biomedical devices. The thickness range for thick Technology is uh, between 100 nanometers and 100 micrometers. And uh, the main technological process for, to obtain thick films are screen printing, inkjet printing, spray coating, electrophoretic deposition, 3D printing, and so on. Next slide, please. The advantages of this technology, it's an additive manufacturing technology. This means that uh, is uh, deposit only what is necessary, is uh, opposite to thin film technology. And uh, this technology has a low or reduced fabrication cost, and uh, it is suitable for mass production. It's a versatile technology. As disadvantage, resolution of fine lines and gaps is limited at 50, 100 micrometers, uh, the best resolution. Next slide, please. Um, standard structure for a bio 
electrochip bioanalytical measurements, this uh, screen printed electrode. Um, having working uh, electrode and counter electrode and uh, as materials for uh, for this structure uh, we are using uh, gold platinum uh, ito and conducting polymers uh, carbon and so on depends on uh, specificity of measurements we need it's a standard uh, structure very used in uh, electronical applications. Next slide, please. We are producing different uh, type of uh, screen printed electrodes with different materials with uh, two, three and N terminals, pads for electrical contacts with the uh, micro containers for uh, different measurements. Uh, as we can see, gold, platinum gold, uh, interdigitated structure, uh, and uh, carbon electrodes uh, used in function of uh, specificity of uh, measurements we, we need to, to use. Next slide, please. Um, we uh, use this technology to obtain uh, sensors, uh, micro heaters. Uh, here is an example uh, micro device for the DNA amplification, having a micro heater obtained in thick film technology is uh, about one square centimeters and uh, it hits a micro chamber used for DNA amplification and uh, we amplified uh, DNA, fr DNA fragments in one microliters volume of solution. It's a, it's a very uh, economic uh, procedure to, to play with the DNA amplification. Next slide, please. Uh, this structure uh, are used for uh, different biocompound determination like uh, neurotransmitters, uh, dopamine. It works very well until 10 to minus five uh, molar concentrations. Uh, good linearity and uh, reproducibility. Uh, also, other bio compounds. Uh, next slide, please. Like uric acid and so on. And uh, uh, every we can use this type of uh, device to measure any kind of uh, chemical, biochemical, uh, biological. Uh, like uh, antibodies, uh, proteins, uh, DNA fragments, uh, glucose compounds, and so on. So it's a uh, it's a standard uh, procedure to measure uh, this uh, analysis. Next slide, please. Uh, so this uh, technology is uh, versatile and uh, is uh, used on large scale uh, for uh, many biomedical applications, uh, for glucose measurements, for uh, proteins and so on. And uh, now we are working to to introduce microactuation to perform on chip uh, operation like uh, microfiltration, separation, DNA extraction, and so on. Uh, are very small and economical devices, very useful in many, many applications. 
thank you for your attention.